Hello. So I haven't done a thoughts while reading in forever. So here I am, gracing you with my lovely presence. And I look like utter shit because I've had a headache since Friday. So hence the dark circles. But <laughs> I'm still reading. So I'm currently reading The Whisper Man. I had to put this book down several times because I was distraught. I was triggered. Um, it's dark. It's deep. Especially when they talk about the child's perspective of Jake. Um, I feel like something is seriously wrong with that little boy. So, in the first part, a boy goes missing. And it goes back from the boy goes missing to the detective's perspective. To two of the detective's perspectives. Then back to the boy. Then back to his father. Then it switches back. It's a little confusing. Um, be, but, the, but I like the fact that it gives you multiple views of the story. Because it all ties perfectly together. So I'm up to the part where Jake's father um, is investigating like something spooky about the house <laughs> and he finds something and the discovery is saddening. Um, but yeah, Jake creeps me out a just a little bit. Um, I feel like his dad is trying very hard despite, you know, Jake's mother's passing. But there's something seriously wrong with Jake. Like, <laughs> I don't know what's wrong with that little boy. Um, the detective's perspective, it's not very long. It's like little snippets. Um, but yeah, I'm enjoying it. I'm about halfway through the book. I just was like, you know what? Finally, not continuously putting it down. Like, legit, I was putting it, I like, I would read, like, a chapter and would have to put it down. Because I'm a mom. And hearing about little kids being kidnapped and murdered by some psychopath, triggering. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to continue reading. I'm going to, I hope to finish it either today or tomorrow, depending on my headache. Because, uh, it's so intense. But, yeah. Um... Dee's also reading this book with me, but she also had to put it down because of that same creepy vibe feeling. So, let me know if you read it and you felt this way. Because I haven't really seen so many people, like, talking about this book online. So, I'm really interested. And this was sent to me. Um, so, yeah. Let's continue reading. Check out with you guys. Uh I just read a part of the book. I cannot believe it. I'm so floored. I was I have goosebumps. Legit goosebumps. If you see that, my hair is standing on end because once you reach page like 168, it's so delicious. Like I'm so glad I got over the dark stuff over the first 100 pages. So I'm warning you right now, get over the first 100 pages and you will not be disappointed because this twist in the story, oh my God, Alex North, fucking superb. Okay, I'm done now. I'm going back to reading because I need to find out. I need to find out what's happening. Bye. So I'm up to page 257, which is chapter 49. Um, the lead detective, she has discovered something. Um, and the former lead detective from the previous kidnapping and murder from the other children, he's helping her on the case. And he helped her. Like, kind of pinpointed because he visited the whisper man again but spoiler alert there's more than one whisper man i had an inkling 
about one of the whisper men and that was right which is like shocking surprising because i was like hmm what if you know and i i don't want to spoil it too much but my gut was right i can't wait to uh, capture him and find out um why this person went the road he went through um they delve more into the little boy jake um he has like I think like he he can see like dead people and stuff like that, so this little girl continues to appear to him, and she's the one that taught him like the whisper man rhyme, and um, I don't know, like I have an inkling about him, like maybe he's, I mean he sort of helped a little bit, but I have like a weird inkling about him as he spends time with the former detective, the older one. So, yeah. I'm hoping to get through this. I only have a little bit left. I think I'm like 75% done. I don't get to go to work today. I requested the day off. I was going to handle some personal stuff. But your girl just wants to stay home and do nothing. Because my headache finally went away. So I'm excited. Um, then now I get to, you know finish this book and then hopefully I can start one of my books for my TBR days I don't know if I'm gonna start with Kevin Slaughter because after this book like I need a fantasy to like cleanse my palate because this was so dark and twisted and I know if I read Kevin Slaughter it's gonna be dark and twisted too so your girl needs a little break and so I'll check back with you at the end of the book or if something interesting happens and I'm totally floored so, this one. I am up to, um, sorry, I got home after running errands and I took a nap and now I'm more tired. Um, but I have 10% left on the Whisper Man and it's getting so, so, so good. And I can't believe the stuff that's happening is happening. It is so intriguing. I read about 35% of In the Woods by Tana French and Alex North gives me Tana French vibes, but with a little bit more details and stuff like that. So yeah, if you enjoy Tana French, you have to read Alex North, um, The Whisper Man. So it's about 3.15. I'm going to attempt to finish reading this book in the next. 10 to 15 minutes and i hope i can accomplish it um i had to pick up kaylee early from the school she had a fever and when i got her we just took a nap because your girl was exhausted from the day and so i'll check with you guys later i just finished the whisper man and oh my god the ending the ending was superb like i cannot believe it that it ended the way it did. Um, kind of a happy ending, kind of like, it just summed everything up perfectly. And it, it was like Alex North put a bow on the story, wrapped it up nicely and tucked it away. So yeah, I give this book four stars because of the fact that in the beginning it was kind of hard to get by but I enjoyed it thoroughly and I'm so glad I finally finished it. Oh my god, my first book of September. I am so proud of myself, even though it's like the 16th, but so, I'm proud of myself. So yeah, if you like the thoughts while reading, hit like and subscribe. Bye!